friends, I have a terrific main course for you. It's chicken fried chicken or country fried chicken, whichever name you want to call it. It is delicious. It is a wonderful comfort dish and I will have all of your ingredients listed below. So we're going to get started with making this chicken. So first what you want to do is wash your chicken and then you want to pound it out. So now I'm making the marinade. The marinade consists of buttermilk, hot sauce, an egg, and it's optional if you don't want to put the eggs in there, some Cajun seasoning and some hot sauce and you just stir it to combine. So the next thing I do is I put my chicken in a Ziploc bag and I pour the marinade all over it. Now what I'm gonna let this do is marinate for about two hours or you can just do it and let it sit overnight. Either way, the longer you let it marinate, the better the chicken is going to taste. But of course, you're not gonna to have to wait those two hours. I would never do that to you. So now we're gonna make the breading. So in the breading, I have some panko breadcrumbs. I'm gonna have some flour. I'm gonna add in some spices, some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder. You know I ain't gonna go without no garlic powder. I've added in a little bit of Cajun seasoning and a little bit of smoked paprika and black pepper. And I'm gonna to stir to combine all of this. And then I'm gonna set it aside, pull my chicken out, get my oil together. You wanna to heat your oil to 350 degrees. And you can use whatever kind of oil that you, that you prefer. As you see, I'm using canola oil. Um, and so now what I'm gonna do is just take the chicken straight out of the marinade and put it into the dredging. So the trick to this is you have to really smash all of this breading into the chicken so that it adheres very good and it's not wet. You want it to be dry before you put it into the oil. And these chicken breasts turned out to be very big breasts. I probably should have cut them in half instead of leaving them so big. But anyway, it's up to your preference on how what size you want to have your chicken breast and what size you want to do it. But anyway, my oil is at 350 and I just dropped it into the oil. And so I'm going to fry this until it's golden brown and pretty. Oh, there you go. You see, I'm telling you guys, you don't have to wait for anything. So this is how the chicken turns out once you've deep fried it or fry it, however you want to do. But I kind of made a deep fry. So now we're off to making this wonderful, wonderful gravy. And so I'm starting out with a little bit of olive oil and some butter, and then I'm gonna throw in some shallots. I'm gonna throw in some minced garlic, and then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna season it up so that it turns out just delicious and smooth and creamy. So next thing I'm gonna do is add in a little bit of flour. Well, there's my minced garlic. And I'm not, I'm just gonna let that get fragrant and then I'm adding in the flour. And it don't take long when you mince it, it will burn quickly. So, you know, I'm probably moving this fast for real, in real life, I'm just joking. Anyway, um, maybe not that fast, but I am moving it a little fast. So i um, adding in flour and I'm gonna cook off the flour taste so that it can create this wonderful, wonderful gravy. Uh, so it starts out like a roux kind of, you can say, but it turns into a gravy. So next you add in your milk or your half and half. I'm using half and half. And you do a little at a time because you want your gravy to be smooth and delicious. So, you know, take your time with your little gravy and make sure that it, you know, it doesn't have any lumps and clumps in it because that will ruin your gravy and you don't want that anyway. So now we want to season it. I'm adding in some chicken bouillon um, because I want a little bit of chickeny flavor, but that is totally optional. You do not have to use chicken bouillon. I'm adding in a lot of crushed black pepper and I add a lot because I really like crushed black pepper. I love the flavor that it gives this gravy because it's, you know, it's a sawmill um, black pepper gravy. So you really want it to be nice and smooth. Um, well, not quite a sawmill because I got onions and stuff in there and they usually don't have that in there. Anyway, you just add some salt and pepper and season it to your liking. Because guess what? You are the king and the queen of your castle and your food has to taste great for your palate. 
Now for my palette, I added a little bit more black pepper. I know you guys seen that. And so now you guys, it is done. Look how beautiful this dish is. It is so awesome and delicious. Thank you for watching my video and give your girl a thumbs up. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Don't forget to click thumbs up and subscribe so that you can get all of my new videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.